Hello everyone, this is JV back again and welcome back to my channel. In this vlog, we are going to have another episode of What's Your Medical School? In this episode, we are going to have one of my best friends talk about De La Salle Medical and Health Science Institute. Hi, Truth! Wait lang, JV, nag-aaral ako. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Hi! Okay, so welcome back again. Before we start, introduce yourself muna. Kahit nakilalang kilala ka naman na ng mga viewers ko. Hi, hindi naman. Sorry. Hi, I'm Ruth. I'm Lynn. And I'm an incoming third-year medical student. Okay, so let's move on to what's your medical school questions. Okay, so first question, basic. What is okay. your medical school? My medical school is Dallas Al Medical and Health Sciences Institute. So can you tell me where La Salle is located? Ah, okay. So our school is located in Las Reinas, Cavite. Um, you might get confused because we are the LSUD, but separate coming from that campus. In the LSUD, Las Reinas, we are just close to us. We are just close to us. We are just close to us. But we are just close to us. We are mainly um, health-allied courses like nursing, OT, PT. Those are the campus, different colleges on campus. Yan. Oh, okay. So, can you tell us naman kung kailan usually nag-start and usually nag-e-end yung application process? Okay, so when I check the latest calendar, it started ng second week of November. Tapos, it usually ends ng second week of May. Ako, I applied ng April and then I got interviewed ng May. Ah, so technically, parang kayo yung isa sa mga may pinakamahabang... Mahaba, no? Yeah. Okay. That's sure. actually a good thing para like, kung hindi ka pa sure kung gusto mo ng Lasal, you can apply like yeah. at a later date. Okay. Okay, so feeling ko like ito yung interesado yung mga viewers natin. May official and math cut of score ba yung Lasal? Um, ito, we're not really sure kasi wala siya sa site. But as far as we know, kami ng friends ko man ay ask them, it's 80. Ah, so 80 yung minimum. Okay. Yes. So, aside from the usual requirements naman like, you know, like and math, TOR, mga ganyan, may mga special things ba na kailangan alamin ng mga future applicants ng Lasal na kailangan ng Lasal o yung nire-require nila? Uh, wala naman. Yung general requirements lang sa lahat ng med schools. Wala namang required courses at yung kiti, kula, chill lang. Ah, okay. So basically, medyo accommodating sila. Ganyan. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, eto, um, is an interview required din ba or is it a part of the application process? Yes, it's part of the application process. Okay, so can you tell us more about your experience and then yung kung ano yung mga tips mo na rin para sa mga mag interview sa LaSalle? Okay, so for my experience, honestly, um, yung LaSalle interview ko, yung pinaka-favorite ko, is, is actually the one I like talaga sa lahat ng interviews ko sa others, compared sa interviews ko sa other school. Kasi I felt like the doctor or yung nag-interview sa akin, she actually wanted to know me. <laughs> Kasi feel ko dun sa other school, it's ano, like question, answer, question, answer. Like parang, ano lang? Structure. Like, yung sila sa ko. Oo, yung sila sa it's more of a conversation for me. Ganon. Mm -hmm. Kasi di ba parang in your interview, um, hawak nila yung TOR mo, ganyan. Hawak nila yung TOR mo. Eh, ako naman talaga, I admit, I'm not ashamed of it. Like, struggle talaga ako ng undergrad, di ba? So, may mga eme, eme ako kung ano dyan. Mm, ano to, ganon. <laughs> so, syempre, napakwento ko ganyan. And I was just honest, basically. Yeah. Tapos, nag-heart-heart -heart lang kami ni Doc. Tapos, parang, after na interview ko nun, sabi ko kay mommy, mommy, parang gusto ko dito sa school na to. At so, mm -hmm. yun, parang, I felt good after that interview. So, basically, yung tip ko lang naman is, I don't know, for me, be honest with your interview. Kasi ma mas makikilala ka nila when you're honest. Ganon. Okay, so that's very interesting naman and very inspiring. So, eto siguro, eto, isa sa mga struggles talaga ng pagbimet ay yung mahal na tuition fee. So, can you tell us more about kung magkano yung tuition fee range ng Lasal? Uh, okay, so for our school, tuition fee varies per year level. Tapos, it gets relatively cheaper pagdating man ng clerkship. Relatively lang, okay? But, an estimate, it's around 300k per year. Per year? So, 150,000 yes, around per SEM? Ganyan? It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, since malaking ang issue yung pera, especially here in the Philippines, ganyan, may mga scholarships ba na available na pwedeng applyan ng mga future applicants ninyo? Yes, of course. So, if you're an incoming student, first you have the entrance scholarship. So, yung entrance scholarship, um, pwede mong ma-avail. Ang tawa ba avail Online shopping. Pwede mong makuha. If first, 
um, graduate ka sa undergrad mo with Latin honors. Mm-hmm. Second, if star scholar ka from DLSU Manila. And then third, if you're one of the recommended students ng deans ng different colleges. Ng different LaSalle campuses, colleges. Mm-hmm. Uh, yan, ganun. Tapos, dapat yung NMAT mo is 80 plot. Okay. Next, ayun, yun yung entrance. Next is meron ding special entrance. Yung special entrance naman is if graduate ka ng DLS and HSI, tapos top notch ka sa boards ng, ng respective course mo. Like, part ka ng top 10, ganyan. Tapos, your end match should also be 80 plus. <clears throat> next, entra- next naman yung incoming ka is yung Dean Scholarship Award. Actually, ito, in-offer to sa akin ng Lasal, as in Kaya, kaya ako actually nag-apply sa Lasal kasi nagpadala sa akin ng mail. As in, legit na mail. Yeah, yeah. Tapos, yeah, tapos may letter doon, di ba, MM, ganyan. So, parang yung requirement doon is dapat yung GWA mo ng undergrad is at least 87% or it corresponds to 2.5 in the Lasal system and then sa atin, sa UP, is DOS. Tapos, with minimum grade of 87 and then your N match D90+. Plus. So, since akin, okay naman yung NMAT ko, pero yung undergrad ko, hindi. Hindi <laughs> ko siya na-avail, sadly. <laughs> pero okay lang, kasi it led me to applying to Lasal, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ayun. Yun yung mga, yun yung mga, yun yung mga pwede mong ma-avail kung incoming student ka. Next is, if regular student ka na, like, for example, second year ka na, pwede mong makuha yung academic scholarship. Mm-hmm. So, for academic scholarship, you can get this is, if your GWA is 87, with a minimum, with a minimum grade of 83. Yon. So, thankfully naman, nakuha ko siya. Sorry. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Next is yung financial. So, for financial scholarship naman, you can avail this both kung regular ka or incoming. So, of course, for financial, medyo mas complicated siya. So, ito, aside from the general requirements, meron ding background check, meron interview, ganyan. Tapos, in terms of grades, um, dapat walang, walang below 79 and then minimum grade of 85 plus. And then, kung incoming ka, dapat NMAT mo also is 80 plus. Yon. Mm-hmm. Next, another special thing na scholarship is your service scholarship. So, ito naman binibig, pwedeng kunin ng mga um, varsity or part ng choral, ganyan. Na recommend ng director, ganyan. Tapos, in terms of grade, um, minimum grade of 75 and then GWA is at least 83 plus. Yon. And then next special, ito special ulit, is the, okay ka pa? <laughs> okay pa, ang dami-dami pa lang scholarship. Dami! <laughs> Lasal is very welcoming. Char. Next is brother president. So ito naman, if you graduated with Latin honors, and you also need financial assistance. But your end match should also be 90 plus. So medyo mas, ano to, ganon. And then lastly, meron ng state Lasal medical education benefit. Ito naman, pwedeng kunin ng mga anak ng mga employees sa DLS and HSI. That's mm-hmm. all. <laughs> Grabe. Very generous pala talaga yes. sa, sal, sa mga scholarships. So, can you tell us naman how long is the program sa Lasal? Okay. So, sa amin, four years lang. Um, graduate ka na after clerkship and you can choose kung saan gusto mag-internship. Okay. So, four years lang. Kasi yung other schools yes. are five years. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. So, um, what do you think naman is unique sa Lasal as a medical school? Okay, well, so first, in campus namin, lasha sa NCR. Mm-hmm. So, fresh air, sis. As in, namimiss ko na actually, especially sa gabi, sobrang lakas na hangin, kasi tata ngayon ka, ang sarap talaga. Tapos, tapos the campus itself, ang luwag niya, like, maaliwalas na puno, fresh, ganun. Which is very helpful pag after mo ng exam, ganyan. Malabas ka lang, okay ka na, ganyan. And the next would be, yung med building namin mismo, in terms of facilities. Um... First is, kung first year ka, gamit na gamit mo yung anatomy lab or yung CAD lab. So, nandun yung mga cadavers, ganyan. So, it's one big room. Tapos, maraming mga silver top containers. Tapos, dun, dun nagsiswimming. Swimming! Dun nakalutang yung mga cadavers. So, formally, ganyan. So, parang, every session, angat lang namin, ganyan. Tapos, pag after, baba namin ulit. Tapos, okay na. Sobrang efficient niya. Oo. Tapos, sa uh, lab dun na yun, meron kaming anatomod. Yung anatomod is parang malaking tablet na basically, pinapakita nun yung 3D image ng human body, tapos pwede mong slice-slice, ganyan. Pwede mong i-ano na yung mga layer, angat-angat. Tapos ginagamit namin yun pag may mga drills or quizzes, ganyan. Pindot-pindot ka lang kahit di mo alam na pipindot mo. Yun. <laughs> okay ka naman doon. <laughs> yun, yung anatomy lab. And then another special thing is 
marami kami yung rooms for small group discussions. Like, for example, yung friends mo. Gusto yung mag-self-study, ganyan. Meron kami mga SGDs na tinatawag. Tapos, in that room, may mga chairs, ganyan. Tapos, may TV, may flat screen TV. Tapos, air condition. Tapos, may mic pa, ganyan. Parang gusto nila mag-study on your own, ganyan. And then, aside from that, marami rin kami rooms for ward works, yung mga simulation activities, ganyan. Like, per group, may surveilling room, which is very, very nice kasi nga, parang... <clears throat> mas focus kayo sa, doon sa discussion ng groups yung ganyan. Mm-hmm. And then next would be, yung classroom kasi namin, parang per year level, it's one big auditorium. Like for, may three auditoriums, like Audi 1 for first year, Audi 2 for second year, Audi 3 for third year. Mm-hmm. So parang yung mga hashtag namin, hashtag road to Audi 2, mga ganun. Pag gusto mong ma-promote, di ba? Mm-hmm. Ganun. <laughs> and, then, and then another thing na I think is unique about your school is, we have this, what we call HI Lab, and it's two big rooms na connected naman, na puro, na puro computers, around 300 plus computers, and we use that first for exams. Um, mostly talaga lahat ng exams namin is sa computer, as in, pinot-pinot lang kami doon, eme, ganyan. Tapos, ang good thing doon is, we have this, we use this system called the Moodle system. For example, may exam ka ng 8 to 10 a.m., you could take nyo ng 8 to 10, tapos, pag, 8, pag 10 a.m., <clears throat> pwede mo na makita yung results mo after as in agad-agad siya. Mm-hmm. Nakikita mo kung saan ka ganyan. Tapos, if may questions ka sa professors, pwede mo, pwede mo i-feedback sa kanila which is very, I think it's a very good way to learn. Kasi, di ba, may feedback from professors in you. Tapos, you learn from your mistakes ganyan sa kanagkamali. Ayan. And then, another purpose of the computers is yung histo and is for the histo and patho lab namin. Kasi, I don't think Sa, sa inyo kasi yata, I mean, sa amin kasi, um, yung history pathology namin, we don't use the traditional microscopes. We use the microscopes sa micro lab lang. But for mm-hmm. histo and patho, digital yung slides namin. Tapos, mm-hmm. dun, nandun na siya sa computer, tapos touch screen yung computer. <laughs> tapos zoom in ka lang, zoom out, ganyan. Basically, digital slides siya. And I think that's very unique to our school, ganyan. And then, aside naman from the med building, I would also like to mention the library of school mismo. It's a very, very nice library. There are floors. Tapos, it's one whole floor dedicated to medicine. Welcome naman yung ibang courses, but mainly one whole floor for the medicine is in daming books doon, ganyan. Be here lang mag-library, pero tumatamay ako lang kasi sa yung library fee. <laughs> Ayun. Tapos, yung sporty ka naman, mayroon kami napakalaking animal center, tapos nandun din yung gym sa taas noon. Tapos may pool din kami, tapos may track over, like sis, lahat na nandito. So, tara na. <laughs> Ayun lang, that's all. <laughs> Grabe, ang dami-dami talaga. Parang nagkaroon ako ng tour. So, like, yes. yo, ang galing. Very, ang galing. Very informative. Feeling ko maging helpful to sa mga nanonood sa atin ngayon. Okay, so, ano naman, let's go to the medical <laughs> graphics ng school ninyo, or at least ng medicine. Um, ilan usually yung people sa batch and then yung batches ni ba meron bang sections or wala? Okay, so usually, next like, start sa estimate around 300 students per batch. Tapos, two sections lang, sections A and B. Mm-hmm. But mainly, itong 300 students na to, on most days, nasa one auditorium lang pag normal lecture day. So, mm-hmm. alam namin yung itsura ng batchmate namin, like sino-sino, ganyan. Kasi kami kayong magkakaharap every day. Mm-hmm. Na, nagagamit lang yung sections A and B kapag lab. Kasi sa lab naman, hindi naman kasi ba ang 300. So, nahati kami doon sa lab sessions. Mainly, yun lang. Ah, uh, okay. So, eto, <clears throat> baka interesado lang yung iba. Do you guys accept international students? Or may mga international yes. students ba sa inyo? Yes, of course. Actually, napakarami namin yung international students. Ako, personally, may groupmate ako na international student. So, mm-hmm. parang... Every, pag may bagong lecture, nagkatunong muna sila lagi, are there any international students here? So, may nagtaas, okay, I'll speak in English. Para ma-adjust nila yung mode of teaching nila. Ganun. Marami, marami. Very okay. welcoming. That's great to hear. Okay, ito naman. Yes. Para sa mga taong hindi maiwan-iwan ang extracurricular <coughs> activities, ganyan, may mga opportunities pa rin ba for those kind of people na ipagpatuloy yung kanilang love for extracurriculars? Okay, of course. So, um, Wait, etong event sa sabihin ko, I don't think considered siya extracurricular, but sabihin ko na rin, para sa incoming freshies or freshman, mm-hmm. ganyan. So we have this load. Today event siya, load is short for Lasallian Orientation for Aspiring Doctors. <laughs> ganyan. Today event siya, it's prepared by the second years for the first years. Tapos basically, kung anong trip ng second year na going, 
gimmick ganyan or games. Hindi ko na sabihin lahat or surprise ganyan. But, ang main point nun is you get to try how to, how we take the exams. Like, may mock exams, both sa computer and sa anatomy. Like, paano yung may experience mo paano mag-move-move, ganyan. Mm-hmm. As in, nagpe-prepare sila ng specimens, ganyan. So, yun yung load. And then, for the orgs, if interested ka to join orgs, marami din kaming orgs. So, merong, <clears throat> I don't know if it's a week or a day lang. Merong org fair, basically. Tapos, parang satin lang din sa UP before na, and so, yung mga orgs, ganyan, may mga booths. Tapos, yung different orgs sa amin is, meron pa rin med-related. May mga nag-med mission, yung mga nag-lecture pa na mag-flebotomy, eh, may ganyan. Tapos, so others naman, Meron din music org, meron dance, meron choral, may singing, ganyan, may photography, and of course, sports, and of course, also religious groups, ganyan. Mm. And then, another special event for us is JFT or Just for Two Nights. So, ito naman, I think it's unique to our school, not sure sa inyo, char. Um, it's the two-night event, sa gabi siya, kaya nga Just for Two Nights, but take to it, may pasok ko rin sa umaga, sis. So, medyo ma-effort to. Pero sobrang fun niya. Kaya pinupunta ng mga tao. So, it's basically a friendly competition between batches. May mga event dyan na secret na. Char, surprise. Ganyan. And then, meron din kami sa college namin mismo. Meron din sports fest, of course. So, it's also a competition between batches. Tapos, yung special thing here is merong team composed of clerks, of interns, of consultants, of professors. As in, halo-halo sila doon. Which is really nice kasi you get to experience competing with your professors. Kaya ang saya nun. Well, taga-cheer lang ako doon. Ba't masaya? <laughs> and then, of course, HSI also joins Palmed. Diba? The famous Palmed. Ganyan. And then, um, tapos, ma-vibo rin yung HSI in terms of quiz B sa mga national, international levels. Yun. Yun lang. That's all. So, let's go naman to the more practical things, ganyan. Um, can you talk about yung mga available student housings or yung mga dormitories, condos, around or inside the campus? Okay. Okay, so first, meron kaming dormitory inside the campus. Mm-hmm. So, pwede ka doon. But if gusto mo outside, pag natito lang yung three na madalas, the famous ones. First is Villa Nicasha, and then Antlers, and then sa Villa Isabel. So, Villa Nicasha, this is actually where, where I live. Um, ano siya? It's basically a village, tapos... Puro dorms talaga, as in mostly students talaga yung nakatira doon, which is very nice. Kasi para may community kayo, uy! Kailan ko yun, mga ganon. Uy, ka-batch ko yun, sarot, ganon. As in, mostly ng batch namin is nasa, so dito nasa Villa Nica siya. And walking distance na siya, as in five minutes, so okay lang malate ka ng gising. Kasi abot ko pa din, kaya ang saya. Next would be Antlers. Antlers also around five minutes from the school. Ito naman tatawid ka. I've never really been here, pero I hear it's also nice. <laughs> I've never been here though. Ganyan. And then last, yung Villa Isabel is also a village, pero medyo walking distance siya from the school. Around 10 to 15 minutes, I would say. Medyo malayo siya compared to where I live. Ganyan. Tapos may, may dorms din doon. Ganyan. And then... <clears throat> If condo naman yung hanap mo, meron din. <laughs> meron kaming the one. Malapit lang din siya. Around five minutes lang din from the school. Yan. Marami kong choices. Okay. So, eto naman. What establishments naman yung pwedeng puntahan ng mga students after classes? Kaya, or gusto nyo mag-chill lang? Ano yung mga establishments around the campus? Okay. So, inside the campus, actually, meron kaming pancake house at Cafe France. Kung gusto mo mm-hmm. mag-chill, ganyan. And then, outside, sa tapat ng school, Merong McDo, Starbucks, Yellow Cab, um, wait, Kenny Rogers, Army Navy, Mini Stop, Mini Stop. <laughs> Pwede kayo tumabay doon. <laughs> Ganyan. <laughs> Tapos, other places, mga milk tea, maraming milk tea places. Tapos, may salon din. Kung pwede, gusto mo magpakilay, meron din. Magpa-wax, meron din. Yun. Tapos may lap, may 7-11 din. So lahat ng kailangan mo nandiyan na naman sa tabi-tabi. In terms of malls, yung mga usually pinupuntahan namin is yung Vista Dasma. Medyo bagong gawa lang siya. And then Walter Mart. Walter Mart yung go-to mo talaga pag kailangan mo mag-grocery agad-agad. And then yung SM Dasma is kind of medyo malayo. Pero yun. Pararating mo rin yun. SM Dasma. Yun. Okay. So eto naman. Let's talk about food. So ano usually makakain <laughs> or saan kung makain ang mga Lasallians? Okay, so ako, kami ng friends ko, usually on a normal day, doon kami sa cafeteria. May cafeteria pala inside the school, by the way. It's called Cafe Verde. As in, tat- lalakad ka lang ng konti from the med building. Nandun ka na. As in, may kainan na agad. Kaya usually yung mga ibang tao, si CR lang dapat, pero may dala-dala na. <laughs> Kasi malapit lang. Anyway, ayun. Tapos yung food doon, around 70 pesos per ulam. Ganyan. 
Tapos, if may budget ka naman or if you want to reward yourself after a very hard exam, doon kasi mga yellow ka, bad gate cows, mga ganyan. Pag may budget ka. And then, if you want something sulit, there's also um, certs. Yung certs, ang sabi ngayon, nagsara na daw, sana mag-reopen sila, sadly. But doon yung super sulit na food, as in sulit, malutong bahay, na busog ka, ganyan. Budget, budget food talaga siya. Sobrang sulit. And then, if you're also craving for something Japanese, maraming ninja gohan, ganyan. Ayun, maraming kainan around the area. Okay, so after the practical stuff, let's move on naman sa mga, isa sa mga biggest factors na consider talaga ng mga future medical doctors sa pagpili nila sa med school na papasukan nila. So that is yung PLE performance. So can you talk about naman yung PLE performance ng Lasal? Okay, so for 2019, for September 2019, may meron, meron kami two top notchers, top six and top ten, and yung overall performance is 89%. And I believe naman every year sa September, meron top notch, top notchers, top notchers. <laughs> so in your own opinion, ano yung hinahanap ng Lasal naman sa mga applicants nila? Mm, for me, I feel ko they want someone with the heart to serve. Oh! <laughs> no, kasi kay Saint Lasal, yung motto niya talaga, yung thing niya talaga is, he is for the lost, the last, and the least. <laughs> so, ayun. Yeah. I feel like if you're passionate, if you want, if you have the heart to serve, go, animo. <laughs> okay. So, ano, ito naman, let's talk about your life as a student of Lasal. Can you talk about yung student life naman na isang med student in Lasal? Okay, so upon entering Lasal, since galing akong UP, wala akong kilala talaga. Kasi mostly rin ang mga klase ko galing different Lasal campuses. Eh ako, wala talaga akong kilala. Mm-hmm. Ganyan. Tapos actually, meron ding mahabang orientation week na pinag-uusapan nyo si Saint Lasal. Ganyan. Kasi syempre para ma-ano sa inyo, di ba? Uh-huh. Na Lasal yun ko na talaga. Ganyan. Tapos may mga groupings doon. And thankfully, I met my friends there dun sa group niyon. Kasi kami mga outsiders. Sama-sama kami outsiders na walang kilala. Mm-hmm. So, yun. And um, I think that's a very good thing kasi it's very, friends talaga is very important. The support system is very important in med school, di ba? As you know. Mm-hmm. So, so first year naman, um, ako, first time kong, first time kong lumayo sa bahay. First time kong mag-dorm. So, also, that's also a big adjustment for me. And also, yun nga, yung subjects sobrang hirap bago-bago lahat. Ganyan. Yeah, tapos after naman ng, after second, pagdating mo naman ng second year, medyo sanay ka na sa stress, sa puya, so carry lang, yun. Mm-hmm. But yeah, um, it's very important to have friends to help you. Tapos, um, ang, I guess I would also like to mention yung, okay, mas sobrang babait and considerate ng mga professors, especially sa majors. Like, meron ba kayong mga LO, ganon? Yeah. Yeah, yun. Tapos, I feel like LOs are very, very important din talaga kasi, nagkakaroon ng communication between the students and the professors. Tapos yun, I believe na maganda yung relationship ng professors and students sa Lasal. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're willing to listen. Ganon. Okay. So, ito naman. Answer the question, why should pre-med students apply to Lasal men? Mm, okay. Well, honestly, I believe that it's not your first choice. But you'd be surprised if you apply. <laughs> Kasi ako, honestly, hindi ko talaga siya first choice. Kasi, yun nga, wala siya sa NTR, di ba? Tapos, naisip ko lang talaga din mag-apply nung sinanda nila ako ng letter. And wala talaga ako regrets doon, ganyan. Mm. Kasi sa Lasal talaga, alagang-alaga kasi is like, mm, feel ko, hindi siya, alam mo yun, like, di ba, med school itself is already stressful. Pero, yung Lasal, yung professor, sobrang ano nila, understanding, nurturing, ganon. Mm. Tara na, tapos nakita ko na yung facility sa sinabi ko kanina, sis, pabagihingin mo. <laughs> That's so true. Actually, I'm diba? ano, like, surprised talaga to hear about like yung mga facilities ng Lasal. Okay, so before we end this What's Your Medical School vlog, what is your message naman to aspiring medical students? Okay, so, wow, tinitigat talaga ito, di ba? Okay, so right now, feeling ko, undergrad ka pa. Tapos sinisip mo, pang mag-med ba ako? Hindi. Kasi marami na nagsasabi na mahirap. Kasi totoo naman talaga. It's very, very challenging. It's a very, very challenging field. And it's not just actually a job. It's more of a vocation. <laughs> so parang, for you talaga to finish medical school, dapat 
you have it in you talaga na you want to help talaga others. Kasi, uh, di ba naman, when you can do anything naman, as long as you put your heart into it, you'll be okay. And I, I believe it's also the same in med school. Just, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Yun> naman sabi. <laughs> Basta, um, it's a very, sobrang hirap niya, pero sobrang fulfilling niya. And, ang, ang sarap sa puso pag natapos mo na, tapos once you're you know, out there na in helping, as a rap. It's all worth it. Ganon. So, go lang. Animo! <laughs> okay, so thank you so much for, ano, again, accepting my invitation. And I'm pretty sure yung mga viewers learned a lot talaga about Lasal because I did. And I'm pretty sure marami kang na-encourage na nagbabalak now to go to Lasal. Kasi, when, you know, when I was in undergrad, wala talaga nakapag-explain din sa akin kung like, mm. ano ba yung nasal? What can they offer? Same. Again? So, yes. Thank you okay. so much for this opportunity talaga. Sure. Always, JV. <laughs> So that's it you guys, that's the second episode of our new series and I just want to thank Ati Ruth for making time as usual for my vlogs and of course I just want to thank you guys for the continuous love and support and I hope to see you guys again in my next episode. Bye guys!